turnovers in there. As far as their players are concerned, their rosters, a lot of new faces this season. We will get into that as the game progresses. Filipina Che, number 15 in black at 6'8", the tallest player ever for Oregon, was in the circle. And there's Pow Pow. And that is a good sign for Kelly Graves. It sure is. Kelly Graves told us we need Tahina Pow Pow to get to that pull-up jumper at the free throw line. And that's exactly what she does to start the ball game. The last couple of games, she has really been struggling with her shot. Arizona's starting five, Kate Reese, has been a mainstay in this program. And you see a lot of new faces. Esmeri Martinez, a West Virginia transfer, who has really been terrific. Third in the Pac-12 in rebounding. And right off the bat, Jade LaVille at her third school, Boise State, and then Arizona State last year. Jade LaVille shooting at 45% from the three. Really struggled from the floor Friday night against Oregon State. Good sign that she's getting going early. And what a game that was for Arizona as they trailed for most of the game and then ended up because of a 15-0 run in the fourth winning the game. Van Sluten, that is one darn good freshman. Yeah, she sure is. She's been so consistent. And that was terrific execution. Oregon's a team that knows Arizona's going to come with that double. They knew exactly where they were going to get the, going to get the ball. Yeah, Van Sluten. Keep your eye on her. Kate Reese, that's what the Che factor will do. They had to pass out of there. Two in a row for Laville. No, that one missed and hit off the top of the backboard. Michael Price, Kyle Bacon, and Alicia Murray, our officials. They go with the defense, but Chance Gray, who was a freshman, was able to get the shot off. There's Lauren Fields. Oklahoma State transfer. Martinez averaging 11 and a half points and nine rebounds per game. And there's Arizona getting in the passing lane. Terrific defense by Rogers to stop the break. Now Pellington comes away with it. Dana Pellington coming back using her final year of eligibility because of COVID. Is on the Canadian Olympic team in Tokyo. Reese taking Che to the basket and drawing the foul. Gets Che exactly where she wants. Only Sam Thomas has started more games in the history of Arizona women's basketball. Reese gets the free throw. Now Oregon coming out firing. That's Rogers. A tie ball game. Martinez, nice look, but Reese was a little bit too strong off the glass, and she chides herself as she comes up the floor. There's not a threat from out there, but that was a super pass to Pow Pow. That was a terrific pass. Kelly Greaves talked about Filipina Che and just her improved passing. <laughs> Pace, pace, pace. It's exactly what Arizona wants. That is Lauren Fields. They hit a couple of threes in transition in that big comeback against Oregon State the other night. Terrific. She had an 8-0 run herself. Now Powell was able to get around Fields for the open look. She's off to a good start. Martinez passed it to the wrong person. That's Rogers challenging. Reese getting it and was fouled. The difference in India Rogers and her aggressiveness from then until now. And this is one of those moments on the road in a tough environment. She's been aggressive early. Oregon losing so many players to the transfer portal last year. And yeah, she looks like a different player than what we saw up in Portland in November. But it takes a while, right, with all these new faces to blend. It certainly does. You know, we're see seeing that throughout the country. As Martinez gets an offensive rebound put back. And this is like the new normal, right? There's always going to be, it seems, unless things change dramatically, there's going to be new faces every year. 
Roster turnover. Boy, Van Sluten. Kid from Toledo, Ohio. Her parents are here, made the trip out to warm Arizona. Ellington. Wow. We got some shot making going on today, Pam. Absolutely. Loving it. About four threes for Arizona and five attempts from beyond the arc. They only average about six made threes a game. So an early good sign for an Arizona team that can struggle offensively at times. Van Sluten had the mismatch against Pellington but passed out of it. Another good look. That's Taya Hansen. Taya Hansen didn't catch it clean. She's been really good for Oregon the last couple of games as well. Averaging about 15 points, shooting it really well. In their last game against Arizona State, she was able to contribute off the bench. Arizona with chances. She's three for four from the floor in this game. Underneath Van Sluten. Puello is a super sub. She comes in and really does whatever this team needs. She plays a lot of minutes. Laville. She can get up, saying, not in my house. Left open, but missed the, the jump shot. You gotta get good execution right here if you're Oregon. Go back to that high-low. You've got two great shooters that you can put in the corner in Taya Hansen and Rogers. When you can space the floor like that and get the ball in the middle, that high-low is going to be wide open. But attacking the basket again, it's Grace Van Sluten. Grease as Van Sluten gambled on defense. Morgan with the definite height advantage will chase taller than most players in the country anyway, but Martinez at only 6'2". But sneaking in. But you see the collapse. As soon as somebody drives or as soon as it... <laughs> Gilbert, number 15 for Arizona, one of their true freshmen, has checked into the game. Martinez, dare she challenge Che? Nope, and that results in a turnover. Hosen Dove. Getting over to Pow Pow, who's going to settle things down, looks over to the bench. Pow Pow found some space and found the bottom of the net to end the first quarter in style. And what a first quarter it was. Oregon shooting over 73% in the first quarter. It's been a back and forth affair, just what we wanted. In Arizona right now, depending too much or uncharacteristically, I should say, on the three ball. They have four threes and only three twos. There's the pressure. Results in a turnover. They take it away from Pow Pow. And you know it's coming, so if you're going to utilize the on-ball screen, you've got to be ready to find your outlets and get rid of it quickly. Uh, Fields couldn't handle it initially. Got a mismatch down low. And a three-second violation. Cypress, Texas. And starting since she was a freshman. A mainstay for Coach Barnes, who is now in her seventh season. That's a giveaway. Gilbert, the four true freshmen on the roster. Great pass. And Reese to the free throw line. 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific, presented by AT&T. But what, what we need is an Ugga cam, because Ugga uh, can't true. make the trip, right? They're, not making they're the trip. keeping Ugga home because it's a long way to L.A. I'm interested in, in knowing what the real Ugga's up to. Pow Pow's up to scoring like a... I think she's a player who's so good in the two-man, handling the ball, getting her team in offense, but she can fill it up as well. Not ready with a dozen. That is her average. Again, the last two games really struggling with her shot. Not so, so far this afternoon. He was eight. Cueo, who was one of the freakiest shots I've ever seen. And now the fans here. Getting fired up. Good, another good crowd. Arizona setting a new record for season tickets sold this year. Gilbert. Yeah, how about 
about that. Had Shea on her and turned around and scored. She is a foot shorter than Filipina Chad. And Slusa. When you get it out of the trap, they're so fast at recovering that they make you play faster than you want to. And they already have eight turnovers, one of the best in the country in holding on to the ball, only averaging 12 per game. Reese. And Martinez has not gotten it going offensively yet. Che has been a factor, along with Van Sluten. Gilbert. <laughs> Nailed it. Arizona run. No defense. It's tough when you're driving in the paint. You can't go over the top. That has to be a little bounce pocket pass between the defenders. Reese. A little bit too strong and then a foul. Yeah, again, getting it way, right? Che getting the ball way away from the basket. Now foul left open. Van Sluten challenges Reese. Cuello able to keep her toes in bounds. Coach Barnes with a lot of confidence in Gilbert, the true freshman. Able to roll it in. She knocked down a three earlier in the ball game, and that was a strong finish. No rotation for the Ducks. Arizona with the lead. After trailing by eight. Scored ten points in a row. Oregon has not scored in four and a half minutes. And that drought is finally over. Thanks to Rodgers. Rodgers and Pow Pow both into double figures for Oregon. Taking care of the basketball we knew was going to be critical. But also, you don't have to, once you get it into the half court, you don't have to speed up. And that is what Arizona's defense is forcing Oregon to do. Speed up, their long passes. And Sluton working against Pueo. And drew the foul eventually. He was one of the highest rated recruits coming out last year. Had the same starting lineup for all 16 games this year. You don't see that anymore. And che again out of the game for Oregon. So Kennedy Basham. And that's a foul on Basham, who is back home, a 6 7 freshman from Phoenix. Which is, depending on how fast you want to go on the freeway, about an hour and a half north of here. There's LaVille. And Reese. And Che way, way out beyond the three-point line. Good bounce pass to Pow Pow with the finish. It's really tough to simulate the kind of pressure that Arizona comes with in practice. That was sweet. nice work by Reese. Heck of a move by Kate Reese. You want to take away that left shoulder? Okay. Yep. I'll go the other way. You know, show it both ways with it. 11 lead changes in this game. And it's blocked by Cuello. As you mentioned, Helen Cuello, she's kind of like a Swiss Army Knife kind of player, right? We'll do whatever you need to do, including block shots. Yeah, she really is. I mean, she's a terrific defender, uses her link to block shots. She leads the Pac-12 in steals, leads the team in minutes, and really just does whatever's necessary. And Sluton off the inbounds. And another lead change, nine points now for Grace. And the shot clock is off for Pellington and the Cats.
Reese. They're gonna need a shot. Laville short. And Oregon takes a one-point lead into the locker room. Arizona will, the regular season on the road at Oregon and Oregon State, the end of February. Gray, who did not score in the first half, able to collect the ball. She's averaging 10 points a game, the freshman number two in black for Oregon. He struggled in the last couple of games in the first half. Both up at Arizona State and here at Arizona, Van Sluten bottled up. Good defense by Martinez and Van Sluten. But just getting a touch demands multiple defenders suck in, in into the paint. And then three-point shooters, capable three-point shooters are on the perimeter. Pelham got a good look. And there you go. Yep, that's more like it. For Oregon, Che's first bucket. And yet another lead change. This has not been shy at all, has she, about challenging challenging Shea? No, she sure hasn't. She's gone one-on-one -on -one inside. Hasn't gotten a lot of them to fall. There's Van Sluten in transition. It's a scoring change during the half, so Van Sluten now with 13 points. She and Pow Pow both in double figures. Laville started off red hot. That one... Hit nothing but air. <laughs> Rogers with the floater. India Rogers got that shot, but Grace Van Sluten should have gotten the assist for that because of the way she slipped out of the screen, she took the defender with her and allowed the play, the driving lane for Rogers. Uh, little things like that. Ellington, nice dish. Off to Martinez. <laughs> what a pass. You're right by Pellington. And then Martinez, great hands and finish. When you drive, the timing of when you bring Che to you and deliver the pass is critical, and that was really good execution by Pennington. And Sluton looking like she's going to shoot. She does. And got fouled. And they have a 6'5 junior, Lauren Ware, who is out for the season, had knee surgery. You know, Martinez experienced, but not in this program, is on the bench now with three fouls. You mentioned Lauren Ware and Maya Nazi, the freshman, 6'4 freshman as well. And and Maya Najee missed the last game against Oregon State. And, and she's a player who's getting good minutes. And we have not seen her yet in this game. It is Oklahoma State's leading scorer last year, where she played for three seasons. Lauren Fields was huge in that run Friday night against Oregon State. She had an 8-0 run. What a game it was on Friday. And the three drained Gray's first bucket of the night. Connor looked around and realized she was open. Over 7,900 people in attendance at this game. Good crowd on a, it has now become a Sunday evening in Tucson. Fans wanted a push off on Rodgers are coming in with losses on the season to Kansas and Stanford. Oregon falling to North Carolina. Falling to North Carolina. Ohio State, UCLA. When all of them were in the top ten. Kellington. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Hanson. Kind of lost it going through the key, and it's another duck turnover. Connor nailed. She came up in that rhythm dribble. But just trying to contest. When you're trying to contest and you run up into a shooter that's coming towards the rim, that momentum play right there, that's a tough one. Three, nine for ten from the line. On the season, she knocked.
knocked all three of them down. When you get to the free throw line, that allows you to set your press if you're Arizona. So the 9 nothing run gets Arizona back on top. Gray left open. Hit it. Reese might have gotten away with steps twice. Pellington just <laughs> rips it out of there. What a play by Pellington. And then Connor draws contact on the drive. Working on her, and she's back on the bench stretching as well. Erica Bellamy, the athletic trainer for the Ducks, but that's good news if it is indeed only a, a cramp. We hope so. She's been hydrating as well. Or she swept the Pac-12 Freshman of the Week and Player of the Week award. Shay got it over to Hanson, even though she had a significant mismatch with Connor guarding her. Speaking of Connor, she shoots, she scores. And that was a terrific find by Pueyo in transition. Eyes up, heads up. She knows what Madison Connor does, and she got it to her on time, on target. 11 points for Connor all in this quarter. Then Hansen with the miss. Shea able to put it back in. Pellington nails it. It's automatic if she shoots from there. I mean, yeah, and she's hit a couple of shots from there already. You gotta have a hand in your face. That's a free throw line jumper. And Sluton's gonna check back in at the next whistle. Great news for Oregon. Rogers with the finish. Oregon's going to need more of that from Rogers, and they need Tina Pow Pow to get going offensively yeah. as well in this second half. Well, she got off to a really fast start, but has been pretty quiet. Cueo. Jay collects. As we approach 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Connor from Chandler, Arizona, has really changed things here in the game. Ellington, a lot of contact. She shuffled her feet. No whistles. Van Sluten back in the game. Arizona will take a two-point lead into the fourth quarter. Madison Connor. I'm trying to find out who's got that dog in him. Who on our team is going, is going to come in, make an impact, and Madison Connor's done that. Yeah, Maddie, Maddie right now is leading in the dog category for them as they're trying to pull off this win. And they get another turnover to start things off. An electric crowd here at the, in Tucson. Three and one in the very competitive Pac-12 so far this season. Connor, that's the first shot she has missed tonight. Put all five of her free throws along with the two threes in the third quarter. And Martinez on the overboards, get him an extra possession. Arizona's done a really good job of crashing the offensive glass and getting multiple possessions. Pow Pow, that's her first good look in a while. Clock into single digits. Connor over to Martinez. Good look. Perfect. That was great execution. Good execution. Arizona. Back on top. There's a difference when you're taking those shots in rhythm, too. And this is exactly what Arizona wants. Pellington with the steal. Martinez converts. And Kelly Graves takes a timeout.
They take away the next pass. They force you to be uncomfortable. Martinez with four fouls goes to the bench in favor of Kalen Gilbert. So a smaller lineup in now for Arizona. Sends Taylor Hosendove to the line. Virginia, North Carolina, both games on ESPN and the app. It's one out of two to make it a two-point ball game. Ellington penetrates, passed up the shot to get it to Gilbert. And one of the things Kelly Graves talked to us about offensively is he wanted to get the ball to the third side of the floor as Chris Van Sluten goes to work in the ISO. Boy, what a good one between these two top 18 programs to the heavyweights in the Pac-12. Arizona's led by another bucket. Well, he's made most of them today, pardon me. What a shot by Rodgers. Able to lace into the paint. And we're tied again as we hit five minutes to go. Back to back. Dave McVille. Step into it. Use the glass. Get yourself a little confidence. Pow, pow. Getting over into the corner for the big three by Rodgers. Shots falling on both sides right now. Timely buckets. India Rodgers, the senior, understands the moment. Is taking control with the ball in her hands. He had a shot at the buzzer to beat Arizona in Eugene last year after missing nine of her first ten shots, did Rodgers. She said, I hit, hit the shot at the right time. She sure did. Connor. Oh, no. Madison Connor with her third three of the game. And Sluton as the crowd goes crazy. Good job by Pow Pow to keep it in the front court. Che. Oh, it could have been an and one. That was a heck of a catch and finish with contact by Filipina Che. And a great job by Pow Pow of having her head up and delivering the pass. Our eighth tie. Finish off last. Arizona up two. And a whistle. Gonna call for that last foul that sends Gray to the line. Our ESPN two men's college basketball double doubleheader. It took a little while to get Jade LaVille where she was supposed to be, but that is exactly how that was scripted, to trail in behind, knock down that mid-range jumper. Really struggled with her shot up until this last stretch. And most of the fans here are on their feet. Van Sluten. But you can just see the swarming defense, how quickly Arizona gets two white jerseys around Van Sluten. Connor coming out again on defense. Shot clock winding down. Big rebound. Madison Connor. Two point lead. And the ball. Kellington looks over to Adia Barnes. 
She tells her team to spread out on offense. Reese challenging Shea. With about 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Morgan goes on. Drive, Chance Gray, the true freshman. <laughs> Pellington, foul. Well, these are time and score situations that you work on in practice right now. So Pellington knocks it down. About taking a timeout to advance the basketball or if they're going to try to come and score quickly. to make it a two-possession game. They're yelling U of A. Huge possession now for the Ducks. Van Sluten right to the basket. They've got fouls to give. They want to make sure that they're in a situation where they're able to extend the game as long as possible. He can get a five-second call. Ellington fearing that call to timeout. Everybody's on their feet here and have been for the last several minutes. Ellington has it. That's only the third team foul, so two more to send him to the line. So one of Oregon's best players not on the floor right now. forced the turnover and then committed the foul that will send Arizona to the free throw line. Puello, terrific free throw shooter. And this is really good job on the inbound play. Just not able to come up with the loose ball. Great hustle by Fields to save the possession. And now Puello. One of two from the line tonight. Shoots her free throws the same way she shoots her jumpers. On the left side of her head. But it's effective. Got him both. It's only fitting, perhaps, and Madison Connor comes down with the rebound. And what a job by this Arizona team, really, to bounce back. And Adia Barnes talking about the resilience of this group. Of, of This is really a group that's still trying to find themselves. A, a, a new team with a lot of new pieces. But they hang their hat on their defense. And when you rely on your defense, your energy, and your effort, and you know that you're going to give yourself a chance every single night. Arizona basketball, right? It sure is. They just keep coming. The multiple levels of effort on the defensive end of the floor. Pellington. Fouled right away. Um, I know Adia Barnes was disappointed in their effort when they went on the road to Stanford. They came back. They were challenged against Oregon State. They answered the call. They relied on their defense. They knocked down big shots. And it's a team that's not known for their half-court execution and shot making. But boy, in the last two ball games, they've hit big ones. They were down by 12 points in the fourth quarter to Oregon State. Came back to win it. And they get a big one against Oregon, taking it 79 to 71.